Hi everyone, I'm John Wright, the Education Director at MediaWrite Workshops. Welcome. This is a brief tutorial on how to slim the face in a portrait. We've all heard that the camera adds 10 pounds. In a way, that's true. We're going from three dimensions to two dimensions when we take a photograph. This tends to make us look a little wider and a little heavier. Be aware, like a lot of retouching you do in Photoshop, you don't want to be too obvious. So be careful not to take this technique to extremes. It won't be realistic. Today I'm using a PC for this tutorial. When I reference the control key, Mac users should use the command key. For the alt key on the PC, Mac users should use the option key. Also, before we start, I recommend you set the workspace to the Photoshop default, which they call Essentials. You can do this by clicking on the clicking on Window in the menu bar and then Workspace and then just coming over here and clicking Essentials. That way your control panels will look the same as mine on the right there. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and open up your image. If you're doing other retouching on an image, you want to make slimming the last thing on your list. Here's my original image. What I did to this image prior to the slimming technique was I went in and significantly reduced the amount of frizzies that were around her head here. In addition, I softened her skin using a special technique which helped uh, eliminate the shine on her skin and we also went in and reduced this line underneath her chin here. All that helped improve the image. And here it is after we've done these portrait retouching techniques. The skin looks nice and smooth. We've eliminated the frizzies and we've drawn attention away from that line underneath her chin. All these retouching techniques you can learn about in one of our Meteorite Workshop classes. Now here is the image before we slimmed it and I want to show the image after we slimmed it. Here's where we're going to. After we've used the slimming technique this is where we're going to end up. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the pre-slimmed image here and the first thing I like to do is duplicate this layer so I'm doing any of my adjustments on a duplicated layer. So I'm going to come over to the layers palette, I'm going to select the layer, the background layer, then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control J to create a second layer to apply my slimming technique to. Okay, now we're going to use the Liquify filter to slim her face. First of all, you want to make sure you've got that new layer selected. In this case, it's called Layer 1. And then you want to go up to Filter and select uh, Liquify from the Filter menu. Okay, a new uh, window will open up. Then in the upper left-hand corner, you want to select the Forward Warp Tool right up here. And then uh, we need to adjust our brush size so it's fairly large. What the warp tool do is, is kind of pushes pixels. And we want to push quite a few pixels at one time. So I'm going to use a larger brush size. Here I've got it set at uh, um, 448, which is fine. I'm just going to type in 450 for that. Keep the brush density and the brush pressure uh, at 50 and 50. So now we're going to bring this over and um, uh, we're just going to slowly push in her cheek using this tool. And I'm just going to kind of work my way down. You can't do the whole thing from one spot. Just kind of work your way down the line that you want to push in. And you can see how we're slimming down this side of the face. I'm going to move over to the other side now. Bring that side in just a little bit, just like we did with her right side. Just going to bring all that in slimming her down. So obviously you want, this is uh, something you want to play with, work with a little bit and uh, you'll get a nice uh, slim look when you use this. Obviously you want both sides to look fairly even, fairly natural, fairly symmetrical. If you want to go back to where you were just hit the restore all and that takes us back to the beginning. Uh, if you want to go back to where you were again hit control Z and that puts us back to where we were before. Okay, so I like the way that looks. I'm going to click OK. Now we can see that the liquify filter has been applied. 
Uh, it's applied to our uh, top layer, in this case called layer 1. I'm going to hide that top layer so you can see what the original looked like. Quite an improvement, don't you think? There you have it. Save your file and you've got a happy customer. Thanks for watching everybody. My online tutorials are a great way to learn. However, there's a lot of things that I simply don't have time to share with you online. If you want to learn more and enjoy a hands-on learning experience, check out the classes we offer here at Meteorite Workshops. It's a great way to learn. At Meteorite Workshops, we support our students long after the class is over. We love to teach and we'd love to teach you.